Hello, my name is Jadwiga and I'm a librarian at the Sterling Heights Public Library. Today I will share with you a few tips about learning languages and in the second part of my video I will show you Mango, our free digital source for learning languages. No matter how old you are, you always can learn new language or practice one that you had at school. Knowing more than one language is not only useful while traveling or at work, but it also improves your brain functions. There are many ways to learn languages. The most important thing is to find the way that works for you. The tips that I'm going to give you today work for me. I use them to practice languages that I have studied so far, including English. Try different options, maybe modify them, and make them work for you. The first and very important thing about studying languages is time and regularity. The more time you spend to practice it, the quicker you learn it. There's no way around it. You cannot study one hour once a week and expect great results. It is much better and more efficient to spend even 10 minutes, but every day. And remember that working on the language is never done. It is all about practice. Studying language does not have to be boring. Make it fun. For example, when you learn new words and phrases, put those on small pieces of papers and put them around your house. That way, even walking by, you can just look at them, read them, and memorize them quicker. The great way for practicing the vocabulary are flashcards. You can buy them or you can make them by yourself. Flashcards are usually small, so you can just grab the bunch uh, and put them into small plastic cover and put them into your bag. You can also find some free apps or space repetition software. Again, make this whole process fun. If you find some fun ways to learn it, it will be more engaging and it will be more enjoyable. There are many books up there that you can buy or you can lend from our library that will help you with studying a language. You just have to browse and find a book that will work for you. Some of the books will have audio included, like CD or free app with it. So you can actually listen the language and that will help you learn it quicker. For those who learn English, we also have some library materials that might help you. Another good practice in learning languages is actually translating things. You can use either book dictionaries or dictionaries on your phone or computer, whatever is more comfortable for you. Translations help you actually learn language, uh, grammar and words in contexts, which is more efficient, especially useful are also small dictionaries and phrase books. You can use them not only for traveling, but also for studying. When I study and practice my language, I like to have a small notebook where I keep my notes. The reason for having it small is that I can take it with me wherever I go. I can just put it to my bag and when I have five minutes free during the day, I can take it out and repeat some words or some phrases. Plus, when I write things down, I memorize it much quicker. Even if you are a beginner, you can read books in a different language. Start with children's books. They use simple grammar and simple words. And then when you become more comfortable with your skills, you can pick up more difficult books and then you can pick up some adult books. Another way to get familiar with the language is reading a book that you already know in English, the book that you already have read. In our library, we actually have international collection both for adults and children. So once we go back to the library, please check those. Uh, maybe you will find language that you want to 
study and you will find some books in this language. You can also practice your reading skills with some online websites or magazines. When I checked recently in RB Digital magazines, I found some of them in German, um, French and Spanish. We also have few magazines in different languages in printed version in our library, so you can check them out once we go back to the library. Obviously, the most efficient way to learn language is actually travel to the country where this language is being used. Additionally, when you travel and you know a little bit of the language of the country you visit, it is totally different experience. But even if you cannot travel, like for example now, or for many different reasons, you can still surround yourself with the language. For example, try to find a group or a friend who speaks in this language that you want to learn so you can practice. Watch movies in that language with closed captions. I know that not everybody likes that, but it is a great way to get familiar with pronunciation and the vocabulary. Also, in a lot of languages, the accent is very important and you will not learn it unless you will listen it a lot. So once we come back to the library, check our movie collection for international movies. Another easy way to surround yourself with language is listening music or listening radio or podcasts. Find the music that you enjoy and listen to it. You can try to find lyrics to the song and translate it. Or while you're listening it, you can read through the song. All those things will help you to memorize words, to learn them, to learn them in context. Maybe you can find a radio station uh, with some news and just try to listen it in the morning, for example, for five minutes. Now I will show you some free software that will help you to study a language. It is called Mango and you can use it on your computer or download app for your tablet or phone. I will show you how to start with it on the computer. Let's start with choosing the browser, whichever you prefer. I am currently using Google Chrome. We will start with going to our library website. So in the address box, you will type our library website address, which is shpl.net. Once you are on our library website, you can see this moving banner up here with all different information and you might see Mango. Just click on it and it will take you directly to Mango. If you do not see it up here, that is okay. There is another way to get to Mango. If you just go above to our main navigation bar. You can see here information about us using my card, services, bookstore and search catalog. Just go to services. You will have menu in three different columns. Online resources, programs and events, other services. We will go to the first column and we will go down to online reference source and we will click on that. You will get alphabetical list of all library online databases. You can either scroll down and find Mango languages or from the top just choose M and then Mango languages. Okay, we got to the Mango. If you have never used it and you do not have account, you will have to create your profile by choosing sign up. Just click on it. You will have three boxes. It will ask you for your email address, 
you will put it up here for your library card number and it will ask you to create password. After filling up all those three boxes, you will click on sign up. The advantage of creating profile with Mango is actually keeping your progress in studying. Every time when you log in, you will be able to just resume your lessons. Once you sign up, you will be able to log in with your email address or username and password. You can also browse Mango as a guest using your library card number. That is how I will show you Mango today using my library card number. Once you logged in, Mango offers over 70 languages, including English. You can either type language up here in the box, or you can just see all languages if you click on see all. So let's say you want to learn German. You would choose German and you will start learning. First, Mango shows you some information how to use it. So you can just go through all those information by using arrows or you can just skip tutorial up here. And then you can just start learning. Okay, let's say you're done with German and you want to learn different language. You would go to left upper corner and you would have X up here. Just click on it. So now in left upper corner, if you go to this circle up here and you click on it, you will see that German right now is on the top of the whole list of languages because we started learning it. Let's say you want to learn another language for example, French. You would just choose French and start learning. And it would take you to French. Right now, if you go to this circle in left upper corner and click on it, now you can see that you have two languages that you're currently learning and you can switch between both of them. You can always add more languages and Mango will keep your progress. So the next time when you log in, you can just resume where you left. Let's say English is not your first language and you would like to learn it or practice it. Let's type English in the box. And when you click on English, it will ask you, what is your mother tongue? So let's say my first language is Spanish. You would choose that and start learning English. And now all explanation is in Spanish. So that will help you learn better English. Now you have list of all languages that you're studying right now on the top and all other languages are on the bottom. So you can always add more. You can add as many languages as you like and Mango will keep your progress. So it is very easy to resume lesson wherever you left the last time. I hope that after watching this video, you will be encouraged to learn a new language or practice one that you already know. Learning a language can and should be fun. Good luck and take care.